Okay, today we're gonna to work on what people think is the IT band, but man, we gotta stop talking about the IT band. Whenever we wanna have pain right here, on the side of the hip, it's gonna sort of goes over into the front of the hip flexor, and you might even feel it all the way down into your knee. It's not from the IT band. The IT band is a connected tissue from your hip all the way down to your ankle. It takes thousands and thousands of pounds of pressure to actually stretch that thing. It's not supposed to stretch. It needs to stay tight and stiff and supple so that it can create tension for you to have stability in your movement. But what we can do to correct this pain, to correct knee pain that you're getting down here, is you can mobilize this muscle on the outside of the quadriceps. It's called the vastus lateralis. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Take a roller, you can also take a ball, but I prefer to do a roller on this. I'm gonna show you why, okay? So I'm gonna put the roller down here. Now I'm gonna put my hip on top of this, right at the top of the hip. Now there's an angle you wanna get at. Notice I had this foot in front so I can get a little bit of a lean forward. I don't wanna be directly on my side, I wanna be slightly pitched forward. So I'm on the quad, but on the outside part of that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my hips forward and back. I'm pulling that tissue side to side on the thigh, okay? This is great for IT band syndrome if you're getting pain down into the knee, all the way down into the shin and the ankle. Because of this stiffness up here, this is a great mobilization to help release that. Okay, so I'm biasing towards the front just slightly, so we're on the front side. I almost think of a diagonal corner of this. Okay, and I'm just tugging myself. If I need to stop because it hurts so bad, I'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna breathe, okay? I'm gonna take a breath in, I'm gonna breathe in through the nose. I'm gonna flex that quad. If I have to, push that foot into the floor to make that stiff. And then when I exhale, I'm gonna exhale twice the amount of time that I inhaled and held my breath. And let that muscle fully relax. So inhale, one, two, three, Four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now do it again if you need to. Keep breathing. If you can feel like you're relaxing a little bit, then you can add some movement into this again. Again, we don't need to do this global thing of going up and down the roller. That might be horribly painful if you're really stiff in this area, but also may not be that productive, okay? I'd rather we pull those tissues side to side to get some good progress here. Now you can add some movement with that leg if you start changing the angle of that quad, okay? You're changing the angle of that knee bend there is gonna change the length of your quad while putting pressure on it. And so you might find that if I have a knee bent or short lever position, it gets more intense because now I'm able to change the length of that muscle. It might get a little bit more intense in different angles. You might be able to relax it more and get deeper with the leg a little more straight. Then you have more tension in the system if you bend it, which kind of adds a different demand there. Okay, really I only have to work about halfway down the quad. You wanna stay closer to the hip to make a lot of progress on this. That's where you're gonna get the deepest, that's where you're gonna have the most bang for your buck, for your time and your effort, okay? That's a quick mobilization for that vastus lateralis, the IT band area to help improve this pain that you might get that's referring around to the front of the hip or even down to the knee and the ankle, okay? Just a couple of minutes, two to three minutes each side should have you good to go. Work on that just once maximum twice a day until you get improved symptoms.